Turn now to a makeup segment. Makeup and men and masculinity is what we're talking about. A new guide unearths how icons throughout history have redefined gender expression through beauty. That's right. Those revelations and skincare hacks are in the new book, Pretty Boys, which inspires people to find their most, most authentic selves. Here to tell us more about it is author and co-founder of Good Light Skincare. We have David Yee with us. David, thanks for being with us. And in, in your book, you went on a journey basically to redefine what masculinity is. So how do you think this book is going to help people and men and even society as a whole? Well, the book is the history of men, makeup, and masculinity from the beginning of time to now. And we have an opportunity to redefine masculinity for a new generation. And we don't have to box ourselves into what society has told us to be. And I would say being free and your authentic self is when you can really change the world, just like the change makers in the book, Pretty Boys. And history is really important to expand who we believe we can be. And knowing our history is the key to moving forward and being comfortable in your own skin is the first step and i really do think that being yourself again can really push culture forward and you yourself can change the world by defining your own identity on your own terms but david you talked about uh i guess some of these icons through history that you talk about in the book which ones do you highlight and why them uh, there are so many, and it's hard to choose, but I'll um, <laughs> nail it down to three. The Neanderthals. I mean, believe it or not, our Neanderthal cousins daubed their face with makeup, foundation, blush, ground pyrite for highlighter. This was 50,000 years ago. Let's talk about King Louis XIV, the tastemaker of his time. And one day he was like, I want to make wigs a trend. And so that became a trending item all throughout Europe. And then, of course, we can't forget our Vikings. Vikings are known to be the fiercest warriors. They were brawny, they were big, but they were beauty boys. They were pretty boys who had beauty kits next to their shield and their swords. They're completely obsessed. And of course, they are precursors to pretty boys today. I'm talking about Bad Bunny, his acrylic nails, Harry Styles, who loves to dress in gender bending fashions. And of course, my favorite BTS, men who are heartthrobs, who happen to wear makeup, who have the most colorful hairs and the swaggiest demeanor. And I really do believe that when we look back into history. We can get inspiration, know where we come from, and appreciate these men who are redefining masculinity today. David, you talk about masculinity. Is that just a social construct? We've made this up in our own minds what it means to be a man. TJ, that's completely correct. We created these constructs during the world wars, World War I, World War II, where makeup was projected and told to be used only by women. And men were supposed to be hyper-masculine, hyper-violent. And I think that we are coming back to our nascent selves. I mean, look in the animal kingdom. We have peacocks, male species of frogs and ducks who love to flaunt their beauty. And I think a softer side of masculinity is what we need. David, you know what? I'm going to try makeup for a change. <laughs> you wear see. makeup every day, <laughs> TJ. Every day. You've got, you're wearing makeup right now. No, no. I, I've been trying to stick with this natural thing, David, but you have brought me around. I think I'll try some makeup tomorrow. After you that's right. Work. That's right. No, David, nobody believes me. I got so much foundation and stuff on my face right now. <laughs> it's all foundation. Okay. David, it is really, really... Great. It's really cool to see you. Thank yeah. you so, so much. It sounds really fascinating. Uh, it's called Pretty Boys. It's now available wherever books are sold. And really, David, we hope to have you here on GMA3 down the road, all right? Thank you so much. I love people who are confident in just being who they are. It's such an inspiration. But like you said, you learned something. He yeah, went through the history. history. I know. It was incredible. It was so cool. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.